Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. How are you going? I'm really good. Um, I hope you're having a great stitchy March. I am. It's been a good month. Pretty good. Um, I got home from work today and there were three parcels in my post box and also a notice to go to the post office to pick up another parcel. So I got four parcels in one day and I thought, what better excuse than to make a video? <laughs> um, yeah, four parcels. What a... It's exciting. Um, it's only been like a week and a half since my last video, so I don't have too much progress to show you. I'll start with progress, then we'll go to the haul. And there isn't that much haul, it's just that it came from a few different places, so... Anyway, um, I have been stitching. Uh, I had the week off work, well, off work. It wasn't really off work because I was doing studying from home. Um, so I was sitting here at my computer in lectures all week. Um, but at least when I'm in lectures listening to the lecture, I can do some stitching. So I did do some stitching. I worked on Celtic Sampler. This looks really dark. I thought there would be enough light coming in the window for you guys to see. Uh, I'm not sure. So for March, I did two motifs. Uh, this one here and this one up here. So this one down here is made entirely of queen stitches. And they are sideways. I actually turned the fabric on the frame and stitched it sideways. It's actually charted to be stitched sideways, which seems weird to me, but okay. And then this one here is um, some backstitch motifs, um, then filled the flowers in with tent stitch, and then all this background, the green background stitch, oh, this background stitch, it's really nice. It has this really nice lacy lattice look. I don't know how well you guys can see it if I zoom in. Put it as close as I can to the camera. It's a pulled sort of four-sided stitch and when you do it, it, it like hurts my fingers because I have to pull the thread really hard and like I'm pulling it across my little finger so I got a blister on this on, on my little finger just near the nail there where I'm like pulling, like you pull the thread through and pull it with my little finger. It's hard to explain and um, yeah, it looks gorgeous when it's done but it took a long time. Just that green stitching there took me not, uh, nine or ten hours of stitching it took a long time but it does look pretty so that's fun to do this is always fun to, to pull out this queen stitching took ages and it's only such a tiny motif this entire motif up here as well as this one here as well as one of those this one is majority queen stitch there's a lot of queen stitch queen stitch queen stitch queen stitch Mostly queen stitch. Um, yeah. I'm going to be even more sick of queen stitch than usual by the time I finish this. Um, next month is April. It's my birthday month. Month, My birthday month. Actually, my birthday is on Saturday, the 1st of April. Um, just a few days to go. Um, I thought I might tackle this big, horrible queen stitch block next, but then I remembered that the, it's my birthday month and I don't want to do that, so I might not. Um, I've been deliberately leaving... This tiny little one here, it's just a chain stitch, like a line of chain stitch. Um, I thought I might leave that one to do for the same month as this, but I actually think I might have to split this one between a few months because I just can't do that much queen stitch. It, it really does make me crazy. It takes so long and I don't enjoy it that much. So that's Celtic Sampler um, by The Needle Sprays. Oh, and it's on 40 count cream linen. I've, I notice I never um, mentioned the fabrics and I'm really sorry, I try to, but I just forget. I'm not good at it. The only other thing I've worked on since the last video is this, Firefly Fairies by Lavender and Lace, stitched on 32 count cobblestone Belfast. Um, and this starburst bit was bleached by me. Um, if you buy the pattern, the instructions for how to bleach it are in the pattern. And I followed the instructions with the help of my mom, and it turned out kind of pretty, I think. I hope it... I don't know. I'll see how it looks when it's all finished. In my opinion, it's a bit too orangey, and there's, it's a bit too big, um, but we'll see. I'm not unrolling this to show you the whole thing, I'm sorry. The only part I've worked on, really, is the Blue Fairy's dress. And I think I've now finished all the metallics in the Pink Fairy. So all that's left to do is to finish off this bit of dress... Oh, and, and the bow up there. She has a pink bow on her back. And then the metallics on her, and then just the beads. And then it's done, which is really exciting. Um, and it's good. I want, I want this finished 
I'd like this finished by mid-April because then I can start a Mirabilia. <laughs> on the 17th of every month I'm doing a new start for Year of Starts and I would like to start um, the Mirabilia I'm planning on which is Red Skies at Night. I'll put in a picture here. Um, I would like to start Red Skies at Night on the 17th of April. Hopefully I've finished Firefly Fairies by then because I said I wouldn't start a mirror until I finished Firefly Fairies so fingers crossed. Um, that's all the progress I have. What's on here? I've got lots of things to talk about but I'm I just got home from work and I'm supposed to be making dinner. It's like quarter to six I think. Oh my computer's off. It's quarter to six and I'm hungry and Tim's hungry so. Um, I was going to talk about Jessie Marie's birthday stitch along. I'm going to take part and I've already decided what pieces I'm going to stitch on which day. Um, but I won't take you through all of that because I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, um, I gave my mum her birthday presents. If you remember last time I had four Rosewood Manor charts and the fabric for the inspiration chart and she was really happy. I also gave her a few needle minders which she loved. And some licorice because she loves that Daryl Lee licorice. Um, so she was very happy. Um, <laughs> and we, she's, so she really loves her favorite chart that I gave her was And a Forest Grew. Surprise, surprise, everybody loves that. So um, we've decided that we're going to have to do a stitch along. I think we're both going to get fabric. We're going to do, you know, two trees a week or something and share with each other and make sure each other does it to keep each other on track. Oh, guys, my hair! Look! It's green and blue and purple. What do you think of that? I hope the light's good enough that you can see. Um, oh, don't make, I'll take it down. I wasn't going to, but I will. Check that out. Wow. Um, yeah, my friend came over on Tuesday and did this for me and I gave her the sugar skull as a thank you and also as a birthday present because her birthday is next week. Yeah, look at my hair, guys. It's amazing. Um, okay, sorry about that. The camera just like dropped out of the, it, I'm using a tripod with like a spring loaded holder for the actual phone part and the phone just flipped out of the spring loaded part. Anyway, yeah, I was just um, talking about my hair and saying that I like, I like it. And I used to have hair in similar colours to this before I started interviewing for a serious job after I finished uni. And uh, so I dyed it brown for a serious job and then I've been at this job for about a year and I can tell that nobody's going to care, so, um, and yeah, everyone likes it, it's great. Well, they all pretend they like it, and that's good enough for me. Okay, so, oh, wait, more things. Yeah, so we're going to do a stitch along for Ender Forest Crew, I said that. I'm not going to talk about Jessie Marie's birthday stitch along. Um, <laughs> I've been enabled. Um, watching you guys is crazy. Um, I've seen two things in the last few days. I have my my stitch uh, what's it called floss tube I'm sorry my words aren't coming today it's been a long day at work I don't usually make videos after work and I can see why okay my floss tube watch list because I was home last week my classes didn't start until midday and finished at about 8 p.m. Um, but for some reason it felt like I had a ton of time to watch floss tube so I have got my watch list down to about 120 now which is incredible because it was hovering at about 250 for a long time so I'm only about 12 days behind now, um, which is great. Um, and I have been enabled the two new things that have made it onto my wish list this week. Um, of course, they're both out of print. Typical. Typical. Um, but the, the things I'm in love with are the Tapestry Sampler by Pat Rogers, and I will put up a picture here. The picture doesn't do it justice. I saw Mischievous, mischievous Stitcher mischievous or mischievous I don't know how people pronounce this apparently it's a southern thing to say mischievous but I'm not southern so <laughs> mischievous stitcher has stitched this and she finished it in her last video well the last video that I saw anyway and it looks gorgeous and the colors she says oh the colors are very 90s and I guess they are but they just look divine it's so pretty the picture does not do it justice um, and the other one that's also out of print that's made it onto my wish list is The Maiden and the Unicorn by Vermilion Stitchery. And I saw Stephanie, Miss Oso oh Crafty, was um, stitching this. And her whip just looks gorgeous. And of course, it again, it looks better than the picture. Um, it looks so pretty and I want it a lot. So yeah, I will be <laughs> looking for both of those, but won't be, you know, some people 
will list their out of print charts for ridiculous prices and I just can't do that I can't it's crazy um, but yeah they're lovely aren't they so what else what else Jessie Marie's birthday sit along I'll talk about next time because that's not until later in April um, I was okay mania mania I don't really understand what mania is I think you have a new start for every day in May. Is this true? Can someone tell me what it is? Um, I'm in the Stitch Mania group on Facebook and I understand that how it started was when a bunch of people said we're going to have a new start every day in May. I think that's what it is. And then I've seen people say, oh, it's only 15 starts in May. Um, be oh, no. It was 15 starts in May in 2015, but now that it's 2017, it does that mean it's 17 starts in May? I don't know. I'm asking, obviously, because I'm thinking about doing it, um, <laughs> which is crazy, I know, because the point of this year is to cut down my whips, and I'm spending so much time this year doing round robins and um, year of starts, which is giving me 12 new starts this year. Um, luckily, so far, they've all been small things that I will finish in a couple of days, but I just don't need that. <laughs> but I have all these amazing things that I want to start, and... I just want to start them. I just want to start them all. I want to start everything. <laughs> so I'm thinking about it. And you know, there's the people who have all, all the starts and they say, what's the difference between starting it and just having it sitting in your stash? What's the difference? If it's just sitting there, you may as well have it started and just put in a few stitches whenever you want to work on it. <sighs> so I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, can someone tell me what it is? And if you think I should do it or not, because I really want to, because I have so many things I want to start, so many, and a bunch of them are kitted up enough to start. <sighs> I don't know. I'm very indecisive. So much for cutting down on the whips though, you know, crazy. Anyway, um, oh, the first piece of haul I'm going to show you isn't actually stitching haul, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, it's a birthday present that I got from my mum early, um, and it's just a handbag, but it's the prettiest handbag you've ever seen. Right? Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't it beautiful? My god. That's the back. That's the back of it. Can you believe it? It's, oh, actually, maybe that's the front. <laughs> yeah, that's the front and that's the back with the Spencer and Rutherford badge. This is Spencer and Rutherford. I think they're Australian handbag makers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. It's a limited edition. It's called Peyton. Peyton is the style and the colour is Folies Berger. I don't know. I'm not very good at French. Um, Folies Berger. I don't know. It's just so pretty. Pretty colours, watercolours. Even the inside is beautifully lined. Like, oh my god. I'm in love with this. I've had Spencer and Rutherford bags for the past five years, maybe. I've had three or four of them. This is the one I'm currently rocking which is really cute too, but it's just gigantic. So I will be transferring everything from this huge thing into the cute little one, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I love this, I love it. Anyway, that's my birthday present, thank you, mummy. Um, my mum apparently has been watching my floss tube videos and I didn't realize, so she saw her birthday presents before I gave them to her, but that's all right. Hi, mum. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to move on to the stash. The stash, and well, the haul. The new things that will be added to my stash. Um, I, I made an order with Tammy from Color Cascade Fabrics a while ago, but she's been, had this back order um, problem and was waiting for fabric and stuff. So anyway, it came. Um, first of all, I just ordered this first base from Ink Circles. I also got Al Together now. Um... From my last one two three stitch order so the only one i need to get now is here comes treble then i'll have all three somebody in my canva cross stitches group is doing all three in a in a row like this and she's done this beautiful border around it i love that idea and i want to do it um, they're really nice i like them i play piano so i like to think i'm musical <laughs> um I'm not very musical. Oh my gosh, look at this. So this is the fabric I got from Color Cascades. I did not realize that she actually sews a tag onto it. Hand dyed fabrics may not be color fast. Please do not wash when project is finished as dye residue may run through your light threads and discolor your stitching. 
If you would like to wash your fabric, please do so prior to starting your stitching. Now sit back, relax and enjoy your new fabric. That's so cool. <laughs> it's like a clothing tag. Um, anyway, this is Moonshadow by Color Cascade Fabrics. It's a 32 count linen, Belfast. Yep, and you're seeing it pretty true to life. It's a little bit, little bit darker than what you see, I think. Um, I ordered this when I thought my mirror start was going to be um, the garden party, the one with the two ladies at the, the evening sort of cocktail party, um, because I saw Phantom by Picture This Plus, that's what Ingeborg is using, um, and I sort of put a picture of the fabric up and put a picture of a whip or a finish of the garden party up on Tammy's site and asked if she had anything similar, and she recommended this, um, and I do like it, I do like the the purple and blue color um, but I don't really like the white bits and there's far too much of the white bits so I'm not sure if I'll use this for that I don't know I don't know it's pretty it is really pretty so I might I'm not sure I'm not sure anyway it's pretty I do like it but I just don't know if I'll use it for what I got it for um, so that was my first package was from Tammy at Color Cascade Fabrics. The second package was from 123 Stitch, yay. Um, and I got a couple of charts. The first one is one that my grandmother, uh, my nana in Perth, she saw this chart. She's a fan of the drawn thread, just like me. And she said she loves this chart, but she can't stitch it. She doesn't do cross stitch anymore, she says. Um, so I thought I'd get it and do it for her. And it's from the drawn thread. It's a new one. Oh, too much glare. There we go. And it's called Stars. And it's pretty and it's quite a simple one, um, not too many specialty stitches. You can see on the front there, the top part is an alphabet and the bottom part is the second half of a verse. On the back it gives you an alternate version that has two parts of the verse. Um, and I'll read the verse to you. It says, Age is opportunity no less than youth itself, though in another dress. As the evening twilight fades away, the sky is filled with stars invisible by day. So. I'm going to stitch that for my grandmother. I also got the fabric for it, but I don't know how I did this. I derped. Um, it calls for 32 count Belfast in dark cobblestone, and what I ordered was 32 count Lugana in dark cobblestone. So I don't know how I did that. Derp. Hey, did you notice one, two, three stitches now surging their fabrics again? It must have just been, I heard it was because they were, they were busy and they got behind at Christmas and didn't have time to surge the fabrics around Christmas time, but they have now started surging them again. So anyone who was worried about that, worry no more. Um, and I also got the threads, they're in here. Here's just a little preview of some of the threads I got. I'll explain. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be stitching that for my grandmother. I'm planning to go to Perth to visit her in uh, September, October. So I'll have it finished by then, I hope. Uh, but I'm not sure if I'll do the version with the alphabet at the top and just the bit about the stars at the bottom or if I'll do the top part with the verse about age. Age is opportunity no less than use itself, though in another dress. I'll ask her which one she likes better. Um, I also got the fabric for... This is... 32 Count Valor by Picture This Plus. And it's sort of a very greyish green colour. Nicely mottled, it's really nice. I got this to use for Red Skies at Night by Mirabilia, which is going to be my first mirror start. And in here are all the beads and silks I need for that. These are the beads and silks for a few things. And the Rainbow, uh, Rainbow Gallery Treasure Braid and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff in there. Here's the fabric for Red Skies at Night. It's a bit greyer than I thought it would be. Um, I thought it would be a bit more green, but it's nice and I will probably use it anyway. I'll do a floss toss and see. Um, and then I also got, <sighs> I also got these two, the Bella series by Nora Corbett. This is Bella Rose and Bella Hydrangea. And this is Bella, Bella Butterfly and Bella Bee. So... Those four, I mean, I saw one of them stitched up as a model somewhere. 
and I don't know where. Um, but my god, they are so pretty. So I will be stitching these as well. And I have all of the threads and silks for them in here as well, and the metallics. So these are ready to go. These are totally ready to go because I have fabric, I have all the silks and threads, I have all the DMC, I have the charts. Four red skies at night. I have all the materials, but I don't have the chart yet. The book is coming. I had to order that from a different shop because they sold out on one, two, three stitch. Um, so this is why I want to do Year of Stars, guys, because, sorry, this is why I want to do Stitch Mania, because I'd love to start these four. I would love to start the lady with the fan that I got in one of my last videos. I would love to start a million things. Um, so yeah, I showed you this. This is a bunch of beads and silks and metallics and some beading thread. Um, and that's all for Red Skies at Night and the Bellas and um, the Drawn Thread. The Drawn Thread ch um, chart, the stars, is actually charted for um, Dinky Dye Silk, Needlepoint Ink Silk and Thread Gatherer Silk and Colours. Um, but I changed it out for cottons because I've been listening to... Oh, this is terrible. I can't remember who. It's a floss tuber and she works as an archivist and she actually said that silk fabrics and silk threads don't last the ages. So I have kind of gone off silks a little bit after hearing that. Um, I'm certainly not going to be using silks um, for most things. And plus they are prohibitively expensive, especially for a little thing like that. It's, you know, it's a small piece and it's got seven dinky dyes, three needlepoint ink and one silk and colours. So that's like ten sixty dollars of silks Australian. That's crazy. It's crazy for such a tiny thing. So I swapped them out. Um, there's a conversion on the drawn thread site um, to convert the dinky dyes and the silk and colours to wig style works and to convert the needlepoint inks to DMC. So that's what I'm doing. And you know what? It will still look incredible and I'm looking forward to it. Um, I got a Just Cross Stitch magazine. It's a really old one. It wasn't a random one. I got it for a particular pattern. This is... Okay, I thought it... Hmm. I, I know it's 1989, but it doesn't seem to have a date on here. Okay. Um, I won't do a flick through of this because we're already at 22 minutes and I want to move on. Um, maybe after dinner, because I, I have two other magazines to show you as well. That's the other thing that I got. Um, maybe after dinner, I will do a quick video with a flick through of this. I will just show you now the reason I got this magazine. Um, and it's because it has a Teresa Wensler chart in it. Um, a very small one. And I think this is the only way I could have got it. Um, oh, where is it? Where is even a picture of it? So this is 1989, it's a Teresa Wensler chart, um, and it's two peacocks, it's called, I think it's called Majestic Peacocks, and, oh, Regal Peacocks, here it is, Regal Peacocks, and it looks like this, and you know what's funny, of course it has all the blended threads, but it has no metallics, no beads, just plain DMC, uh, so I thought it might be, I thought it might be a quick stitch, but these are often deceptive, and it might not be as quick as I'm expecting. Um, oops, better be careful with that. Yeah, so that's the reason I got this magazine for that chart. This is just cross stitch, and it's definitely 1989. Oh, here we go. Volume 6, number 5, January, February 1989. So I was five years old in January, February 1989. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm really happy with that. Um, I'm really excited to stitch those little peacocks. That's another thing I would like to start in Stitch Venia. Um, and the last parcels I got were from um, Country Bumpkin and they published the Inspirations magazine and I used to subscribe to this and then I stopped and now I have started again and I got issue 93 and issue 94 as my first package, my first two issues and I think as I said I need to get going. I will make another video at some future point, maybe after dinner tonight, maybe another evening, and I'll do a flick through of each of these and show you what's in them. Um, Inspirations magazines, they sometimes do a little cross stitch. Um, if they do, it's usually in the form of smalls, like um, little things that you make into houses or needle rolls or something. Um, but generally they do like um, embroidery. There you go, there's a gold work pheasant 
There's some needle painting. There's an elegant counted thread etui. Oh, so that's cross stitch. Well, it's sort of specialty stitches. Um, so not everyone's going to be into this. So when I get these, I will do flick throughs, but I will just put them in separate videos. Um, they have some really pretty things though. Um, yeah, so I'll do a video of those another time. I've shown you my progress. I've talked about mania. And that's everything I have to say for today. Next time I see you, I will talk about Jessie Marie's stitch along and I will show you, um, I hopefully won't have a new start to show you next time I talk to you. Hopefully I will talk to you before I make a new start on the 17th of April. I'm not going to start something before that. I'm going to be really good. Yeah, I promise. I'm not lying. <laughs> it's very hard. I have all the stuff ready to start those bellas and they look so small and easy to do and I really, really want to start one. I really want to. <laughs> um, tomorrow is the postage day for our round robin. I will be posting Stella's Seasons round robin off to Coral and I will get Coral's round robin which is a, a bird. Anyway, I'll show you that when it comes and when I start it. So that will be nice. Um, okay, that's all. I'm going to go and make dinner. Have a great stitchy day and I'll see you next time.